Welcome to Cherry's Classroom. Today's lesson is rounding numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Rounding numbers makes them simpler and easier to use. Here's an example. How many students do you need to start the tree planting project? Instead of answering, I need 1,293 seedlings to start the tree planting project. You can say, I need about 1,000 seedlings to start the tree planting project. We don't need the exact count. The 1,000 is slightly less accurate. Its value is still close to 1,293. It's easier to say 1,000 than 1,293. What will be the rounded number of 42? 40? Or is it 50? Using a number line, you can easily decide the rounded number of 42. See the nearest round number of 42? Is it 50 or is it 40? It is based on the nearest round number. So, it's 40. So, what if it's 45? In this case, we'll go with the round number with the highest value. So, it's 50. Let's try the number of seedlings. In the number line, where can you find 1,000? 293. Okay, let's search. Somewhere here. 1,293 is somewhere here. Again, it is based on what round number is nearest to 1,293. So, if 1,293 is here, it's nearer to 1,000 compared to 2,000. The rounded number of 1,293 is 1,000. Try 1,632. So the rounded number of 1,632 is 2,000. Okay then, it's time to learn the procedure we follow to round off a number. In this part, we have to remember the place value of a digit in a number. Let's say for example, round this number to the nearest thousands. Nearest thousands. 
Four is in the thousands place. So four is the rounding digit. No need to use the number line to decide whether 24,821 will become 25,000 or 24,000. Just remember, when the next digit at the right of the rounding number is less than 5, like these numbers, then we have to round down, meaning this 4 here will remain as 4. But when the next digit at the right of the rounding digit is either 5 or more than 5 like these numbers, then we have to round up by adding 1 to the rounding digit. To make it clearer, here's your rounding digit. When this digit to the right of your rounding digit is either 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, the rounding digit will remain as 4. But if this digit is either 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then plus 1 to the rounding digit. That is round up. It will become 5. Now back to the original rounding digit. Round down or round up. It is here, so round up. 4 will become 5. Lastly, change all the digits after the rounding digit into 0. So here's 24,821 rounded to the nearest thousands. Let's try some more. Don't worry, I will guide you. Round to the nearest ten thousands. First, identify the rounding digit. Based on the next digit of the rounding digit, you have to decide whether you round up or down. It's here. So round down. 8 will remain 8. Lastly, change all the digits after the rounding digits into 0. Eighty-four thousand six hundred twenty-two round to the nearest ten thousands is eighty thousand. Okay, then try this. What did we do? Step 1 
Step 2 Lastly, let's read it all together. Now you're ready for a test. Round the following to the nearest thousands. Answers and more of these lesson at cherriesclassroom.com. Just click the link below. Thank you.